Hi, I'm Skip Winkerdale of the North Pole, interviewing contestants on our new Christmas tree pageant, Mr. Christmas Tree. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? Good evening, Western Guilford Young Life. I'd like to introduce you to our first contestant. I'm Fraser Fur. And we're so glad to have you this evening. We'd like to learn a little bit about you. Tell us about a time you were really cold. Uh, there was one time up in the mountains, uh, it was about 30 degrees. Are you serious? Yes, and uh... Not nearly as cold as I expected. Yeah, it was about 30 degrees. Fahrenheit? Uh, Fahrenheit. Go on. And I was, I was fairly cold. It was snowing. Uh-huh. And uh, then this man came by, he chopped me down. And here we are today. Second question, uh, what do you like about being a Christmas tree? Um, I like the Christmas time, and everyone can put lights on me. Very well. And thirdly, what can you offer to the good people of Western Guilford Young Life if you were to become Mr. Christmas Tree? If I were to become Mr. Christmas Tree, I would offer great shining lights and ornaments on me. And second up, we'd like to introduce you to Norway Spruce. Like the confidence. Dear Norway Spruce, what would you say to the deciduous trees in our area? I would say, uh, I'm sorry that your leaves have to fall all the time, because mine never do. Okay. Um, what kind of things are you doing to keep in shape and uh, train for Mr. Christmas Tree? Well, I'm trying to grow as tall as I can. That's, that's important, I think. And uh, I'm also trying not to lose my leaves, like the deciduous trees. Which is and uh, thirdly, how do you feel about the ozone layer? I'm kind of upset that it's just going away. Yeah, it makes me nervous, I think. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming into the studio. And welcome back. I'd like to introduce you to our next contestant. I'm Easton Red Cedar. Easton Red Cedar uh, enjoys long walks on the beach and open-toed shoes. Eastern Red Cedar, what do you do to help get children in the Christmas spirit? I let them put ornaments on me. Detail. Um, <laughs> also, I was curious as to why you like sandals so much. They let my roots just spread out. Okay. Moving right along. Um, what do you think about the new iPhone update? Well, I'm on team free phone, so it's irrelevant to me. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to our next uh, contestant, Ponderosa Pine. Tell him your name. I'm Ponderosa Pine. <laughs> no need for the attitude. So our first <laughs> question is, name your top three favorite types of nog. <laughs> well, I enjoy pine nog. Oh, and you know some root nog. That's nice. Um, and uh, how do you spend your winters? Oh, you know, I I grow. You know, I steal water from neighbors. You know, water saving. Great. And um, what do you think about toys made of pine? Yeah, you know, that's that's a racist thing. <laughs> that's that shouldn't be done. You know, we, we spend our time growing and surviving. That's we being pine. Yes. Yes. Pine. yes. Pine. Well, thanks for coming tonight. Thank you. Walking in a winter wonderland. Introduce you to our final contestant. I'm Norway Pine. Norway Pine. He's relaxed. He's ready to answer a few questions. Uh, Norway Pine, what was your favorite merit badge? My favorite merit badge was when I hit six feet. They gave me a merit badge. That's a nice one. And also, what do you think about electricity? I mean, I like it because it gives me lights, but sometimes when you hit like 23 feet or so, you get uh, interrupted by power lines and it's very uh, detrimental to my fellow trees. And how do you feel about dry needles laying around? It's the worst. It's the worst. You heard it here first. Wow. Lots of fun with Mr. Snow. 